Thanks for that perfect segue, Emily. A disease that affects thousands is now being addressed in a new edition of Chicken Soup for the Soul books. In this new publication, a personal story from a Western New Yorker dealing with Alzheimer's and dementia in her family. We're joined by Leilani Pelletier. You are the executive director of the Alzheimer's Association of Western New York chapter. We're talking about kind of a personal story that raises light and starts a conversation at a bigger issue. But before we get into that, why don't you give me a little bit of a rundown of what the Alzheimer's Association, the Western New York chapter does. What's your role here? Sure, um, we cover the eight counties of Western New York with, um, with help, services, information, and support around anything related to any kind of dementia, not just Alzheimer's disease. There are many other causes of dementia, and no matter what's causing the difficulty thinking, we can help. That's what we exist for. Now, do you think a lot of people hear dementia and they automatically tie that in and associate that with that yeah. with Alzheimer's? Yeah, the words, the words get <laughs> misused. People don't always get um, a thorough or accurate diagnosis or explanation of what kind of dementia they have. So all the words kind of get thrown together and we're much more about helping people understand what they have, what they can do to make life a little bit better and uh, how to deal with the disease in whatever form it's coming. And of course personal stories are always a great yeah. way to sort of get in touch with what people are going through. Mm -hmm. Now the author of the book or the story who is a local author mm -hmm. Maria Bowman mm -hmm. couldn't be with us today you're here in her place so tell me a little bit about how we can read her story. It's a great story called Black Eyebrows and, and it um, you know, it's one of 55,000 stories that are happening right here in Western New York. Um, Maria has a beautiful way of explaining how you kind of come to terms with the changes that happen uh, with someone with Alzheimer's disease and how their world starts to shift and you have to just go to it in order to show them love and care. And that's a difficult lesson for families, daughters, spouses to learn. And Maria's captured it beautifully. And there are other wonderful stories in this book. It's a great book for someone uh, who's caring for someone with Alzheimer's right now. Um, it's, it's a perfect book for that. And I know that there's a lot of uh, chicken soup for the soul, so which one will she be featured in? It's a chicken soup for the Alzheimer's soul. Which, from what I'm being told in my ear by our producer, Bridget, it's been sold out online it's already. It's sold out. It's, it, it, they can't keep it uh, in stock at Amazon, but we're going to have them in the chapter in a couple weeks, and you can just call us, go online, call us, and, and you come by, get a book, get some information, meet with the staff, get some help. And for people out there that are watching this interview and maybe don't know a lot about Alzheimer's maybe want a little bit more information what should they know where should they begin learning uh, what this truly is about uh, uh, call us 24-7 uh, we have a helpline there if you have a question you can look online we've got a great website alz.org but even better we've got real life human people who we don't need to know your insurance card we don't need you to we, there's no fee there's nothing it's simply we exist uh, for our mission to help educate and support people impacted by this so pick up the phone call us come over and we'll help you learn whatever you need and I think this is an issue that a lot of people associate with people that are a little bit older should this be something we should start thinking about now you know what we have kids in school doing research papers on it this is a huge not only just a family issue but a huge economic issue um, the, the cost in the United States is 214 billion a year in Medicare Medicaid, insurance, and out-of-pocket expenses. It's a fiscal issue as well, so um, people are finally starting to give it the attention and the care it deserves. And of course, there's so much we could talk about, but if you want more information, of Just course, you can us, call your number. Visit our website. And the website right there is on your screen, www.alz.org slash Western New York. Thank you so much, Thanks, Leilani, man. for joining us.